Today we're gonna to talk about preparing a smoker's home for sale in San Diego County. Selling a smoker's home in San Diego County is a challenging scenario to face. This is because the damage that smoke causes to the interior of a home can be substantial. As the executor administrator or trustee of a property here in San Diego County, you'll have to decide whether you want to choose to sell a smoker's home as is, or if you would like to make necessary repairs or renovation to fix the problem. I'm Ashley Rivera with Probate and Trust Help here in San Diego County. We specialize in selling probate and trust homes and we help executors, administrators, and trustees just like you to prepare, market, and sell those homes. If you have a home that is in a probate or trust and it has smoke damage on the interior, you could choose to sell as is. What does that mean? That means that you choose to make no repairs and you just sell the home with the damage that has already occurred. Smoke damage can cause things like intense odors, and you may also see discoloration of walls, carpeting, furniture, etc. If you choose to sell as is, you will limit your buyer pool, but you will also not have to go through the time, energy, and costs that is accrued from making renovations and repairing the problem. So let's say you choose to repair the problem. What does that entail? Well. It's gonna take time and energy to make those renovations and repairs to the smoke damage that has occurred inside the home. And that could be things like the walls, the floors, the ceilings, including some of the HVAC duct. Those will all have to be fixed, cleaned, possibly sealed, and then repainted or repaired. The pros of selling a property as is that has smoke damage would be that the sale is going to be quicker than if you make renovations. You will not have to incur any financial costs of making those renovations, and you will quickly have a finalization to the sale of the home. The cons would be that you're going to be selling for a lesser value than if you were to sell to traditional buyers because likely the purchaser will be an investor or someone who is willing to take on the smoke damage of the interior of the home. For making the renovations, the pros would be that you will likely have a higher sales price for the home. You will have a interior that has been cleaned and prepped and you will be selling to traditional buyers, which is why the sales price will be higher. And some of the cons would be that it's going to take time to make those repairs and to clean that home and to prep it for sale. And also that it will cost some money to the estate. So you choose to sell as is. What are the steps that you're going to take? You're going to quickly probably clear out the home. You may not, you may choose to leave everything inside, but likely you'll clear out the home and you will market to investors as a cash sale or even a conventional sale. Sometimes the smoke damage will not limit the sale as conventional or cash. If you choose to make the renovation, there is steps that you'll have to complete. We'll go over those right now. Please, if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. We have new videos every week and we want you to see all of those because we have lots of information to help guide you through the sales process of your probate or trust home. So if you've chosen to go through the process of cleaning the property after smoke damage, this is gonna kind of be the steps that you will take. You might choose to add some things or remove things, but this is sort of a general guideline. First, you're gonna clear out all of the personal property. This is because likely there will be smoke damage on the walls and when you take pictures off, you will see rings around the photos because the smoke damage has hit the walls but not behind the photos. The photos themselves will probably have smoke damage as will couches and chairs and, and other things. And those items will maintain that smell, the scent of the smoke. So you're gonna wanna have those things taken out. The next step is you're going to need to remove carpet. Carpet is fantastic, it's soft, it's comfortable to walk on, but it does maintain scents. So if you have a carpeted home, you're gonna want to remove all the carpet and the pad and probably seal the floors prior to having new carpet installed or to put in new flooring. You will likely need to air out the house. This is because the scents that are inside from the smoke damage are going to be residual and to open up the windows and air out the house for a significant amount of time can help with that. We have also used an ozone generator on occasion to help with smells inside homes. It basically is a machine that you can hook up and it will release gases or oxygen, high level ozone gases that will then help to reduce those smells. When using an ozone generator, you want to ensure that there is nobody inside the property, including pets, and that you follow 
follow all guidelines regarding re-entering the property as most of the time ozone generators will have a set time from when the cycle ends to when people can enter again. Another step is going to be a deep clean. You are going to want to have the walls washed. You'll likely have to seal them with some sort of a product that will help create a barrier for any sense. A uh, product that we use typically is called Kills, K-I-L-Z, and it is a sealant that we would then put on the walls and the ceiling to prevent any secretions or scents to get through prior to then priming and painting the walls and the ceiling again. Kills can also be used on the flooring prior to putting fresh carpet or flooring in and that will help seal the floor from any scents as well. On occasion, if you have a home that the smoker has been in there for a long time, you may have to have the HVAC system thoroughly cleaned. You would want to hire a professional for this as it's necessary to clean all the ducts and all of the vents that are attached to the home when you have a chronic smoker in a home to remove the smells as well. And the final step would then be refinishing everything. So if you have gone through the process of cleaning and sealing all the items, ceilings, walls, floors, you have removed all of the personal items that would then probably have the smell, you're going to want to then refinish everything. So you'll have to prime and paint the walls and the ceilings, you'll have to put in new flooring and all other items that potentially could need to be refinished. Whether you opt to sell as is with a smoker's home or you choose to do all renovation, you will likely want to hire a real estate professional to help you through the process. This is because you're going to want someone who has experience with working with vendors so that you hire the right professionals. And also that real estate professional, if anything like our team at Probate and Trust Help, can then guide you through the entire process of preparing, marketing, and selling that home. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Again, I'm Ashley Rivera with Probate and Trust Help. And if you find this of value, we'd love to see a comment down below. Take care, have a nice day.